I want to draw into attention that to be criticized eh, in the academic world is a normal thing. So also, uh, Julius Kambarage Nyerere, the father of our nation, may read, you know, even maybe the young ones, Form 2s, uh, Form 4s, uh, BA, mm, and not people are so much uh, engaged into this philosophical. Uh, so they might be attempted to reject uh, Nyerere, to find that uh, this muse is, is useless. So I'm here uh, to counter, uh, argue that thing. <clears throat> so, the first, uh, I attack uh, this argument of a uh, traditionalist. Uh, you know, in response to above critiques, the essay argued that throughout Africa, events and everyday experiences serve as sources of information. As you all know, uh, African traditions, culture, uh, information was sent through oral, uh, stories, something like that, uh, narrations, uh, and which were based on daily experiences. Okay. So also, Julius Nyerere, if you read the uh, uh, Manifestation of African Socialism, uh, so knowledge is kind of being portrayed in that way, uh, as he was enhancing uh, uh, African mentality. Okay. So now equating all epistemological system or means of conveying knowledge uh, to a kind of Western styles, yeah. For me, I see it as a hasty generalization. It's not just uh, to discredit with the done to Julius Nyerere. Okay. We have different modes. And this is just for even by Placid Temple. If you know, the first also uh, scholar who <laughs> successfully uh, came up with what was called up to now an African uh, philosophy. Uh, that he distinguished African philosophy of thinking with the Western. And Placid Tempo is also a person who's coming from the West. So that's another point that we have, uh, there's different way of thinking, even epistemological uh, system of conveying education. So in real African socialism, uh, for me it's okay, the way uh, it is portrayed to us. Okay? Uh, also inspired by temple, scholars understand and could figure out African uh, conception of personal, community, and power dynamics. Eh? Uh, the work of Plaza Temple influences a number of scholars. Eh? They could understand the African identity, personal, and power dynamics, also social organization. Uh, as because of time, very difficult to go in details, you know, those hierarchy of powers, eh? the vital force. Okay. Uh, also, uh, the degree of applicability does not determine the validity of philosophical theory. Mm -hmm. So failure uh, to those uh, downtimes in Tanz uh, Tanzanian economy at that time uh, uh, do not so much uh, mean that uh, the th guiding theory failed. <laughs> because even you, if I ask you, uh, Bible, uh, the holy books, the Bible, the Quran, uh, they have been preached uh, throughout. Uh, uh, the centuries, uh, for a very long period of time, but still people are still at committing sins. So it doesn't mean that the Bible, Quran has failed. Okay? Uh, maybe it's the means. Uh, Every day people are coming out with the means of conveying a message in new ways. Maybe it's not fitting this way. So the same also may apply to Nyerere's African socialism. Okay? Also, Zanaki being one of the Bantu-related community, Okay, justified many scholastic ways. Eh? It justified the word Nyerere's African socialism. The word African is justified because Nyerere uh, learned about African experience from the Anaki community. So there's a number of uh, uh, literatures which shows there's a lot of this Bantu, uh, sub Sahara community, a lot of relations. So it is well justified even by empirical uh, scientific researches, uh, you can generalize that. Now, when you come to the state of governance in Africa, uh, up to now, for example, if you're talking about gender, uh, up to now, uh, for example, uh, this gender-based violences, yeah? mm -hmm. the statistics show that uh, there are a lot of gender violences, mm -hmm. and almost maybe no country in Africa has managed to uh, to, to 
to, to, to solve these problems, eh? Eh, above 50%. Eh, also, other study shows that eh, 2 million Africans go asleep without feeding every day. Mm -hmm. And you know that African continent is very rich. Eh? Eh, Arab land. Eh, the rule of law. Eh? We observe overturning of governance every day. Okay? So now I'm coming to this point. Eh? African socialism, eh, the core notion to humanity, eh, whereby eh, eh, Africans, we have that because Nyerere said that this is an attitude of mind. So that's a very important point. It's an attitude of mind. It's an ideology. Eh? So it's kind of a platform eh, which can influence or can interrogate eh, our current eh, governance systems. So having seen this eh, today's Africans eh, eh, immoral in the societies, eh, therefore eh, I argue that eh, Nyerere African eh, eh, socialism eh, is still relevant eh, today. Thank you very much. Eh, the